I like to describe the formation of romantic love as a journey. It's two people who were once walking paths on their own, meeting and walking together. It's exciting as meeting someone for the first time would be, but as you decide to walk closer, the imperfections become clearer. The road together becomes a bit more, more difficult to walk and less exciting. But the decision remains the same. Will you choose to continue to walk together? Our journey has been exciting, challenging, sprinkled with tears, but filled with laughter. It's been full of late nights on the phone, fighting time differences, and many plane rides. It has taken us halfway across the country to the beautiful, dusty streets of Tejas in Mexico, and halfway across the world. And I knew that when I saw you coming up that mountain to make sure I made it back down safely, that wherever this journey of life took me, I wanted you by my side. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for continuing to choose to walk with me after learning about the uglier parts of me. You are a supportive, encouraging, and hardworking woman of God. And I am blessed to be standing before you. Speaking of standing, you are standing at this altar. And in the Bible, altars serve different purposes. And one of them was sacrifice. So here I am standing to offering, offering myself to die symbolically yes. uh, to demonstrate my love to you as Christ loved the church. I vow to be faithful to you. I vow to be courageous and never run from a fight, but strive to have the wisdom to know when to pick my battles. I vow to never expect you to be perfect, but to give you the space to make mistakes, knowing that I will continue to be beside you with forgiveness and unchanging love. I vow to protect you mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. I vow to be the spiritual leader of our home, making Jesus Christ the example. I vow that our relationship will be an expression of both of our cultures, Mexican, Black American, neither one overshadowing the other. And lastly, I vow to make you laugh as much as possible because one day of not seeing your smile is one day too many. words for me before, but I just want to remind you of this. I'm so thankful to the Lord that we met at that airport lobby for the first time 554 days ago. Thank you for choosing me. Thank you for committing to me and seeing a bright, fun, and God-centered future by my side. I vow to take you as my husband, partner, and best friend until death do us part. To continuously choose you no matter how hard it gets or what comes our way. I promise to laugh often and try, hence the word try, to not sweat the small stuff. To respect and care for you all the days of my life. To love you in the way that God has given us as an example. And to pray for you, your ministry, your health, and to be a partner in all your God dreams and purpose, always.